and Brakti Hawa Brakata, Yahweh Shah Brakti Hawa Brakata, Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Reply familiar spirits lord will you are edified this video was inspired by a video elder yashar wamba did on his youtube platform which is remnant save 144 please subscribe as you can see dead grandpa brought back to life in robot form all right so you see it see here <laughs> you see here you know pretty soon these are the types of things that they're going to be on the market and he's ref he's uh referring to ai which is artificial intelligence <laughs> all right just imagine you know jake without the holy spirit all right um of the belief that big mama or uncle ronnie can come back in the form of a robot which can never happen. Let's get Ecclesiastes 3 and 20. All go unto one place, everybody, which includes Israelites and these heathen nations. All are of the dust. This is literal. And all turn to dust again. This is literal. So once our spirit is summoned into the spiritual world, our body begins to break down and therefore that flesh becomes dust again focal point all go unto one place referring to where psalms 11 and 4 the lord yahweh is in his holy temple the lord yahweh's throne is in heaven and heaven can be identified as the third heaven or the fourth dimension, or the spiritual world. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. At the end of the day, the nobility of Edom wants our blessing. We receive a spiritual blessing from Isaac through our forefather Jacob. And the nation of Edom received a carnal blessing. Okay. We are witnessing the end of Esau's carnal blessing or rulership. And therefore the nobility of Edom want what we got. They always, they, <laughs> they always have wanted that blessing. That's the reason why they are attempting to eradicate Jake from the face of the earth. They want that blessing. And our blessing includes everlasting life and uninterrupted kingdom. Okay? Genesis 27 and 28. Therefore, the Most High give you of the dew of heaven. Now, the setting is going into Isaac giving Jacob the blessing, which can be identified as the kingdom of heaven. And the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Verse 29. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brethren and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone that curse you and blessed be he that bless you. These are the terms and conditions going into the kingdom of heaven, which Esau wants. And the reason why he continues to explore and further develop AI because in his carnal mind, he's trying to perfect it. And therefore, he feels that through perfection, if he's able to pull this off, he will never die. And therefore, he can attempt to, to attain the new world order. Okay? 
Let's get Psalm 49 and verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generation, generations. They call their lands after their own names. Who does this? The nation of Edom, beginning with their nobility. Okay? And their nobility or their highborns are who? These international bankers, beginning with the Rothschilds. Major point. Houses in the Hebrew is Psalm 49 and um, Salakia. I'm tripping. Um, in the Hebrew, it's um, Strong's H1004, pronounced as Bayath. All right. Now, according to outline of biblical usage, we see what? 1C, human bodies, which support what? AI slash transhumanism. See, everything is prophetic. In their mind, they think they will attain this goal, but it will never happen. Okay? They will never perfect so-called AI. Point blank, period. They will never receive the kingdom of heaven. That blessing is only for the nation of Israel. Proverbs 2 and 22. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. All right. After they have served that thousand years in the kingdom of heaven. Right. And the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Referring to the nation of Edom. And like I said before, the nobility of Edom understand once Yahusha returns, he is going to destroy their kingdom and forge his kingdom through the art of war. Lord will you edify Shalom.